When it comes to choosing a set of sushi knives, or one knife in particular, there are many choices out there. One may be interested in a knife for a sushi making class or for a sushi party, or perhaps interested in becoming a professional sushi chef. On either end of the spectrum, you will want to choose the knife that feels good in your hand and is made of quality materials. First and foremost, you must determine what type of sushi you will be making because this will determine what you will buy. Different types of sushi utilize different knives. In some cases, you may need to purchase all of the different types of sushi knives to accomplish your task, which include the Deba knife, the Usaba knife, Yanagiba sashimi knife, and so on. Each knife helps you perform different tasks. A professional chef will choose each knife for the produce and cuisine at hand. But for those cooking at home or sushi chef starter, only the two types of knives, Yanagiba and Deba, will be the essential. The Yanagiba is a long knife with a thin, slender blade that is designed for precision slicing of sashimi. This knife is truly the sushi chef's prize tool, an instrument responsible for the amazing presentation that you see in sushi restaurants in Japan and the world over. While not all traditional Japanese cutleries are made in the same style as the traditional battle sword of the samurai warrior, the katana, some are forged by hand in just the same technique. One unique trait of Yanagiba is its blade angled only from one side, with the other side of the blade being flat. This allows control in the blade angle for delicate cutting and helps it prevent food sticking to the knife. Yanagiba knife, most commonly used, is 8 or 9 inches long, depending on how big the fish you want to cut will be, and how much working space you have in your kitchen. Left-handed knives are also available, but usually are custom-made and relatively expensive almost by 50%. Deba, on the other hand, is used when you break down and fillet a whole fish, which is usually 4 through 6 inches long with wider and a thicker blade. Mainly, there are two different types of materials for the Japanese knives. One is high carbon steel, and the other one is stainless steel. Most traditional sushi knives are made of carbon steel. This means that the steel rusts easily, but is capable of attaining a much sharper edge. Stainless knife does not rust and easy to maintain, and its hardness of material prevents the knife from chipping. However, no matter how high quality the knife is, stainless one can never be better than the carbon one when it comes to the sharpness, durability, and the ease of sharpening. It totally depends on its material of the blade, length, materials of the handle, and its brand. And it can be up to thousands of dollars. But to recommend for the beginner, the one from $100 through $300 will be adequate. When you choose a knife, it doesn't have to be an expensive one. However, choose a knife you will cherish and maintain its edge and quality. Imagine if you were to drop the knife by accident. Will you feel dread, worried, or devastated at the possibility that the tip may break, thus ruin the quality of your knife? Choose a knife which makes you want to cherish and dedicate time to maintain it. Then you will love it and it will last as long as you do so, just like a lifelong partner. If maintained properly, even a cheap knife can cut well. The converse can be said of an expensive knife. Working with a dull knife, even the most renowned chefs cannot create delicious, beautiful food in a timely manner. In short, Using a properly sharpened knife and cherishing it is the most important thing to remember.